peace family this is Mr. Holipsism just wanted to do a little video on the concept of getting together I keep hearing um, we gotta get together and you know I keep hearing things like you know we have a lot of ideological differences as a people but we gotta work it out we gotta clarify things so we can get together and it sounds really good and it sounds really positive and I'm really for that but I just feel the need to um, call some you know call bullshit and when I do this I'm not attacking anybody specifically because I always say that when it comes to the conditions that we are in as a people is everybody's fault in general and nobody's fault specifically and when it comes to my people, my criticism is always um, with love. So it's criticism with affection. But I think it's just something that needs to be said. Um, if you are a member of the Nation of Islam, if you are a member of the Hebrew Israelites, if you are an African nationalist or Pan-Africanist, or you, if you're a member of the 5% Nation, if you're a member of the Morris Science Temple and any other, ver I'm not going to go down the laundry list. There's so many other gr black groups and people who's saying that they have a black ideology or they're for black people or for African people or for Asiatic or whatever you want to call it. I mean, there's, there doesn't seem to be much um, ambiguity when it comes to oppression and keeping us out of the major power pillars of nationhood. When it comes to that, everybody knows exactly who we are. We're the only ones that seem to be confused as to what we're going to call what we are. So whatever. You know, I, I'll use black, African, whatever. You want to call us Asiatic, fine. If it brings you to the table, I'm cool with using it. But what I want to say is, in terms of this getting together thing, if all of the members of these groups and that's including the black church let me throw them in there if all of the members of these groups are not meeting all together speaking to each other on a weekly basis then all of these groups are full of shit and all of these people talking about getting together are giving a bunch of rhetoric and lip service double speak and hyperbole resulting in nothingness and personally I'm tired of it, and I, and to be honest with you, I'm late in the game with being tired of it because the majority of our people ain't even listening to what the fuck any of y'all got to say. That's why I'm so encouraged by the debates. You know, I know a lot of people say, well, we shouldn't be debated, we should be getting together. But those same people saying that, where the fuck were they before Sarah Sutton Seti started, you know, banging on the beast and making some noise? When he started, when he started being vocal and started getting attention on YouTube, where the fuck was y'all niggas? Where were you? I didn't hear anything from anybody. Now all of a sudden, the Sarah Sutton said he has got you know um, some some energy coming his way. Now all of a sudden, everybody want to do something for the black race. Now, come on, man. Bottom line. What, are you guys meeting on a regular basis? Are you meeting on a weekly basis? Are you mapping out plans? Are you map because between the Hebrew Israelites, the nation, the, the nation of Islam with the fruit of Islam, and the five percenters, we can lock down our, our community security-wise right now. What's the holdup? What's the problem? All of these militant brothers out here talking all of this 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 stuff about what they're gonna do to the white man and what they're gonna do to the to the police if the police do this and that and that. There is no if. The police are doing it. They're not stopping, they stomping people head into the ground right now as we speak. So where are all of these groups getting together at? Or you know what, if you want to keep it secret, don't you don't even have to tell me where the meeting is at. Or just tell me, are you meeting? Is a brother from the Hebrew Israelites meeting with a brother from the Nation of Islam, meeting with a brother from the Morris Science Temple, meeting with a brother that's a, a Pan-Africanist, a black nationalist, someone who studies um, Nile Valley civilization. Are all of these brothers meeting on a consistent basis since we're supposed to be getting together? 
That's all I want to know. Because if you're not doing that, I'm calling bullshit. And I think and I think collectively our people have already called bullshit. Because quiet is kept. Me and my family and my, my inner circle approached this subject about 20 years ago. And basically what we decided was, we said, you know what, it doesn't make sense. You got all of these brothers, they may be from different ideological backgrounds, but basically they're saying the same thing. They all believe in the black man, or whatever you want to call that. They believe in, in brothers, and they believe that we have a common enemy um, that's stopping us or, or, or preventing us from establishing and doing whatever we can to become self-sufficient. I believe that all of them preach the same thing in regards to that. And so what we said was in our, you know, our naive nature as young black men, why don't we go to each one of these groups and talk to them and interview them? And we did. Um, one of my people, um, Ambassador Saw, has the videos that he's trying to transfer so that we can put it on YouTube and show you that this was something that we did 20 years ago. And um, so we went to the 5% Nation. We went to, at the time, the Answer a Law community, which was run by Dr. York. So when people want to bitch and moan to me about me talking about Dr. York, I'm not talking from ignorance. I lived in Brooklyn. I lived near Bushwick. I've been through that community at the time when it was in its heyday. So I know what I'm talking about. Um, the Hebrew Israelites the nation of Islam and just about every black group or uh, 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 pan-Africanist group or pro-black group that you can think of the 5% nation we went and we approached the leadership of the groups we interviewed them and at the end of the interview we asked why don't you brothers get together and pool your resources so that we can um, attack this problem together collectively 20 years later, my man Sarnetta and Sarah Sutton is doing the same thing in terms of trying to wake these groups up, talk to them, get them to come together to the table so we can do something collectively. So that means for 20 years, nothing's happened. 20 years of people talking about the black man is God, the white man is the devil, no matter how what you want to do it. And for those 20 years, you mean to tell me that nobody had the thought to come together and to pull your resources together so we can control our own communities? Is this just a mere oversight or is it bullshit? Because I'm very simple in the way that I look at reality. If you're in a room and you have 10 people in a room you have a light bulb on the floor and a light socket in the ceiling and I come back out of that room and I leave the 10 people in that room and I come back a week later if the light bulb is still on the floor the light socket is empty and there's no light in the room then then I have to come to the conclusion that the room the purpose of those people being there was not for the room to be with light if they spent the whole week arguing and fighting and bullshitting and in the meantime everybody's in the fucking dark then that means it's not about unity it's not about getting together it's not about collective what it's about is an argument to see who's gonna be the person to put the light in who's gonna be the man and if that's what the argument is about I feel no need to be a part of your fucking cause because this is bigger than your ego and this is bigger than your ideologies. Our people are in a situation right now that could be easily solved if you motherfuckers would stop it with the bullshit rhetoric and start coming together as a people. Because if you don't do that, none of your, none of your ideologies, none of your teachings, all of that shit is bullshit. And the masses of our people have already seen it and caught it. So what you going to do? What are you going to do? Are we going to do this? Or are we going to bullshit around for another 20 years? Peace.